PhD day is from the PhD community for the PhD community. It's organized by our PhDs in order to interact with themselves, to better understand what happens in each other's unit, what is not feasible in the daily business. So they're going to meet here to have social contact and to show what they have done as project in the research domain. It's very important to reinforce the PhD community as team spirit. It's to have to show what is done on their level in the research. And also for external people, uh, we have a lot of invites from other institutions, from some from industry, to show what happens in reality in an RTO uh, such as LIST and what do they produce, what is their outcome and what is the intermediate results uh, they might show. So my research is about interpenetrating polymer network coatings. So you can imagine the interpenetrating polymer network as a two spider nets, which are made out of plastic, and then they are interlacing between each other. Um, so then we can get a better uh, properties, like a synergism. So they support each other uh, to have a better mechanical or thermal properties. Um, in order to have the bio um, background of these coatings, I use the fully bio-based chemicals which are derived from natural sources. And on top of that, I'm using the um, new um, source of energy, which is called plasma, um, to synthesize those coatings. So, I'm studying the interaction that exists between heavy metal stress and frost stress. So basically, a few years ago, they discovered that plants that were submitted to a mild heavy metal stress were resisting better to the freezing stress. So basically, plants that grow on heavy metals, they don't die when the frost is coming. So here what I want is to find a gene, a level of expression of one gene, that when you find it, you know that the plant will be able to resist the stress. It's how improve uh, identification of barriers for collaboration between enterprises that want to share information and work together. The thing is from that we were looking into the literature and even in the practice, there is no methodology that really considers different layers of the enterprises, like really the, the different levels of granularity and the different aspects of this collaboration. So organizational, uh, technological, or even the semantic uh, part of the, the information that they should be considered and exchanged. The thing is that we are improving is the, this ability to identify the different interdependencies of these layers and these aspects. Uh, so we are using a requirements engineering approach so to identify the different requirements and their relations and to relate that to the different uh, business objects that are relevant. Mm -hmm.